I am back out again with uh, Tree Hill. This is season one, episode ten. You gotta go there to come back. So last episode, I left off with um, I think it was the Nathan. He's was using steroids, I think, or I don't think they they didn't say it was steroids. They said it was some slightly below steroids or something along the lines. I don't know what the drug was, but regardless, he was taking drugs. Um. Obviously, it affected his mood and stuff like that. I don't really... This is this last episode. I don't blame Nathan at all. I kind of put the blame on Dan. Um, granted, Nathan did have a lot of pressure. He shouldn't have done it. But I think that's because Dan was... First off, he was... I, there's, a, there's a thin line of, like, encouraging your son, pushing your son to go further... And like belittling him and teasing him and not teasing him but bullying him a little bit, you know. And I think that's what Dan is doing. He's he was making those stupid comments. You never be my score. You you weak. I want you to, but you're not gonna do it because you're a little pussy. That's basically what he was saying. Yeah, you suck, you know. Um, yeah, I think Whitey also felt a little guilty about it too because he made some strong remark about like. He said, like, the sun will rise or something else like that. He took it kind of to heart, and he closed down the gym till further notice. I think that's a little bit too much. I don't think he should put too much pressure. I, I think Whitey was just being a coach. I feel like most coaches might have said something, something like that, you know? Like, you have to win this one. It's very important. da da da, da. I don't think he should take Like, I wouldn't lose no sleep over it if I was him. I mean, if I was a coach. Um, I will put more of the responsibility on Dan, like, what he was doing. Um, so again, I hope Nathan gets his shit together because he is growing on me. As much as he was an asshole last episode, I don't think it was his, it was definitely not his fault, okay? It was the drugs and, I mean, again, I, I shouldn't say, like, I'm not going to give him a pass because he was on it. It's just... His behavior is a little justified in my personal opinion, you know. Um, so yeah, but he did go to Haley, so I thought maybe he would have fucked things over with Haley, but he, he clearly he didn't. He went straight there. Um, so yeah, Dan's obviously gonna try to blame this on the mom, um, Deborah. I think her name was Deb or Deborah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, he's gonna blame it on um, on Nathan's mom. I don't know, I mean, just because she wasn't there, I mean, come on, I think, I'm not a parent, so I can't really speak for this, and maybe I may sound ignorant on this subject, but, if your kid gets hurt somewhere else, and you're not there, I kind of feel like it shouldn't be like, she shouldn't feel guilty, okay, she's first off working, okay, so, I feel like she's at the strip club, or so, or she's not like at the club, or like, partying out, she's working, you know, um, so, yeah, also, this is back in, like, the early 2000s, so, you think, like, Dan could have called her or texted her or something like that, it could have been a little bit harder back then, because, again, not everyone had their cell phones with them 24-8, or on their, like, they didn't have their phone, I didn't get a phone until, like, I was in sixth grade, and then I didn't even use it, so, it's like, I understand, like, I didn't have it around a lot, so I can imagine, like, her probably not having a cell phone, you know? Actually, now I'm thinking about this, show came out in 2003. Actually, it would make more sense that they probably didn't have a cell phone. And if they did have a cell phone, it was probably, like, one for the family, you know? Because um, I think that's how my mom did it. Like, I think my mom and my dad... They had a cell phone, and sometimes they would give it to my mom, give it to my dad, my dad would give it to my mom. It wasn't like how it is now. So, yeah, I think it might be a little bit harder to get a hold of her back then, you know. Um, speaking of that, I predicted that they was going to get divorced, like, maybe in a couple seasons, maybe the end of season one. But, I don't know, maybe that, I'm thinking that that prediction is a little bit clearer now. Because she, she didn't ask for a divorce, but she basically said, get the fuck out of the house. Um, I don't see Dan changing his ways anytime soon, you know, so, you know what though, I do have a quick question before I start into this, I just seem like Deb and Dan are just, 
complete different people. Like, I don't see what... I, I feel like he... And Karen, too. Like, both these women, I feel like... I, they're nothing like Dan, you know? They don't seem like they share the same interests. They don't seem like they have the same, like, lines of goals. So it's just... It seems kind of weird that he has a wife that's... Or he's into women that are complete opposites of him. I mean, you're wrong. Opposites of track. I get that. But it just... I thought maybe on some sort of scale they both seem like... They'll have some sort of, like, something in common. To me, they seem like they don't like nothing, like, together. You know? Maybe we're catching it at the end of their relationship, like... They have the bad packages, you know. I think every marriage kind of has that. Maybe that's what it is. She kind of briefed, she kind of explained it to Keith like a couple of episodes ago about like how he was different. Maybe he changed. I don't know, but he couldn't have changed that much. I mean, if he had a son that he didn't even talk about, uh, or he doesn't know no involvement of it. I mean, I kind of feel like maybe he's always been a dick, you know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's where I left off with, um, I can't really remember anything else. I think, what happened with Peyton and uh, Lucas? Oh, I completely forgot. Lucas. Um, Lucas was, I kind of felt like taking advantage of Keith. He, uh, he went out, got drunk, and got in a tattoo. Um, all while Keith, uh, while, uh, Karen was gone. I think he was taking advantage of Keith, and I think he should be grounded. I just think it's a little, like, it's kind of out of character a little bit, you know? Um, so, yeah, because I know for a fact he would not pull the shit with his mom here, you know? Um, yeah. And yeah, maybe uh, Brooke could be possibly a bad influence on him, you know? Not saying a tattoo is bad, okay? I'm married to a woman who's covered in tattoos. So I don't think nothing's wrong with getting a tattoo. Um, I just think that... Um, like, pressuring someone and just having them do it, and they're underage, and stuff like that. And it looked like he didn't go to a good, like, a good artist. Like, I think he went under the table, obviously. So, um, like, it could get affected, which I think he said it did. You know, you should go to a professional where they take care of that type of stuff, you know? Anyway, um, if you want to get the full reaction, check out the Patreon. Link's in the description down below. I'll be a couple episodes ahead over there if you guys are watching this on YouTube. Um, and uh, let's just dive into it. Mm. You look like hell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get much sleep. You know, why is that? What's up? I'm wondering if you made the right choice. Well, what kind of choice are you talking about? Yeah. Morning, boyfriend. Um, I think you're good. <laughs> Keith, Brooke. Brooke, my Uncle Keith. Hi. Hi. I don't like that. You, you'll yeah, kiss yeah, for the... Uh, oh, no. uh, don't forget, your mom thinks I should check back to the madness. <laughs> but hey, if I could, I'd stay like this all day. <laughs> okay. So is he feeling better? About last night. Not enough sex with me, okay? When you're ready, I'll be too. Okay, that's good. I think that just don't make sense to say couple. She said so herself. And then took it back. Yeah. I don't know. Now, what are you, a lawyer? Dude, you know you want to be with her. But I think he fucked up that because um, he's with her best friend. She makes me laugh. She's honest. She's not afraid to be herself. Okay, plus she's not covered head to toe in issues. So I think she does have issues, yeah. just Nothing, different type of issues. I wanted to talk to you about Lucas. Last yeah. Night, the other night. What's all about? Didn't tell you what happened? I didn't really do much talking after you left, if you know what I mean. What's this all about? Seems to me we've lost track of what this game is supposed to be about. Myself included. At this time, think about why we're really out there. Till then, no practice. Mm. 
Yeah, you know what? That guy, that that kid, he has a baby, right? Stop. So, speak to yourself. Why is he? Why you just did me a favor? Why is he on the basketball team? Me too. Well, let's see how. But I had no idea you were coming over last night. You know, when Brooke and I make just... a really good couple. I'm happy for you. And she's my best friend. This is, this is cringe because I think. Lately. I'm beginning to take it personally. Oh, she's, she's going to. So this guy, I don't know. Oh, he's like, you can't be with the best friend and you're lusting after her. You know, look, I can't make sure there's no weirdness about that. You're my best friend and I would never cut you out for a guy. Well, you kind of did. No matter who he is. <laughs> or how happy he makes me. Yeah, and you're trying to be guilt there. I'm cool with you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. How I read that is like, I'm, I'm going to be with him regardless. Bit. I mean, try to guilt her into like They're saying yes. Check. I mean, it's a TV show, okay? But I kind of feel like if you really cared about that situation, you would have said something to her first before her making the move that. on Lucas. Jesus Although, now I'm thinking about it, she did kind of tell her. Never mind. I mean, to take that back. I'm sorry because I forgot pretty much the whole series she's been hinting that she had a crush on Lucas. So, sorry, I didn't mean take that back. You're supposed to be their coach, a leader. That is something we agree on. You're grooming him too hard, Danny. What are you talking about? Dehydration. We both know it's more than that. Yeah, so so now you're You know what, though? He probably would know stuff about that because be the coach probably would know the signs. I'm predicting that Dan is going to try to get that coach fired. Why did he fire him for something? You and I are going away for the weekend. Hmm. Are you kidding? I already quit with your mom. Got your golf clubs in the back of the car. We got a 9 a.m. tea time. Dad, you can't just spring things on me like this, all right? I have planes this weekend. I know you do. With me. I'm not playing hooky from your mom's cafe. I just um, ran out of coffee filters. Okay. See what? You start up some live entertainment. Brooke is going to come over here with something stupid. Are you sure? Because, uh... Lucas, are you alright? Yeah. Hey! I just think it makes more sense to buy in bulk. Plus, for a second. This is right here how you know it's a fucking TV show. I don't know anybody who walks around with a box of condoms and whipped cream in the store. store. Most people are kind of like secretive about getting the condoms. Like, mm, get this, get all this stuff. Right. Mm. Amazing. You have a great life. Beautiful home, a basketball pedigree. Any kid would die for. And, um, I almost did. Hey, what are you doing? I wish you were here. We're doing this open mic thing at the cafe tomorrow. So, I'm calling for two hours and you go all Hollywood on me. Yeah, that's me going for a girl. Hey, you want to say hi to your mom? No, uh, it's a bad timing. But let me give you a call back, right? Don't be talking to girls, Nathan. How's he doing? She's going to distract you. Oh, I'm player screaming, so this is about Lucas. I uh, saw him at the grocery store today. He was... With a girl? Ah, oh, yeah, that's uh, Brooke. He's been spending a lot of time with her. Can't say I blame him. Uh, they were buying condoms. Right. Okay, well, you know your son is also no virgin either. Things happen. I'm a what? Karen's calling tonight, but I'm going to tell her. So besides the fact that I want what's best for Lucas, I just... I don't want to let her down. Well, then don't. She's 3,000 miles away. She trusts you to handle this. Yeah, Keith kind of had to step up a little bit because right now Lucas is kind of out of control. He's on his watch too. It's like. I know. Can you fix it? Yeah. I can burn him. Yeah, that's what I do. Can you come up with a design that doesn't suck? What do you need him tomorrow afternoon? Those pictures are not that bad. I mean, not bad for a kindergarten. Like, but I'm moving that advertisement. Yeah. Hi, Uncle Keith. 
Brooke. Could you maybe uh, pick this up some other time? I'd like to have a word with you. Yeah. Okay. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's funny, I was just about that. Yeah, exactly, dude. I okay. get This is about that, right? No. This is um, about you. Yeah. And some incredibly bad judgment. And I think you should remember that Deb's the one who's keeping your mother's business alive while she's gone. I mean, look at Nathan. That the guy gets away with ten times the crap I do. And you're not Nathan. Yeah, exactly. It's like... Oh, he gets to do it, so I should do it. No, no. that's not the point. That's fucking childish. You can even be home for your mother's phone call tonight? Yeah. You forgot? I forgot. I should tell her. I told her that you missed her and that you loved her. He's got, I know he's not my mother, all right? He's not even her boyfriend. So this really isn't your business. Well, that's where you're wrong. Yeah, because right now it's garden. Business. Yeah. You know, you might want to take a long, hard look in the mirror and see if the guy staring back at you is the kind of person that you want to be. Yeah. I hate to say this, but I'm thinking Brooke is also kind of, like I said, I think she's, she's a bad influence on him. But again, he's also making these decisions too. Like... I don't think Lucas would have made these type of stuff with Peyton. You know? Really Ooh, so pretty. My ball cleared yours on the fly. Maybe you want to hit from the ladies' tee next time. Wanna drive? I just did. <laughs> it's that Dan is like treating his son like he's like one of the boys. He does, I think that's what he's always All doing right. too. Even in golf, he's like trying to say that he's better than that. Oh, Webcam? Why does she I has a webcam? That seems so creepy. One second. Hello? Um, look, I'm busy. I, I promise I would do something. Okay. Yeah, I'll call you tonight. Bye. Uh -oh. She needs oh, okay. to get rid of that fucking webcam oh, okay. because I mean, any oh, fucking oh. stalker could be sitting yeah, there like... Yeah, come on. I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate it, but I, I kind of got to stay by the house today. <laughs> Were you grounded? No, no, not exactly. Sick? So this is Jenny. Is she? Yeah, yeah. She's all mine. Wow, that's unbelievable. Who's the mother? Uh, that's... It's a long story, but let's just say she's out of the picture. If you treat this like a son of you're ashamed of, your daughter will carry that around. Oh, uh, he's talking from. Well, I'm not far on the back nine. I think you told me that a few times. I know, for real, dude. Well, it was a nice try. Oh, you sink this one, you might actually break a hundred. <laughs> just. What the hell are you doing? Never up, never in, right, Dad? Hey, watch it. You know what? This whole thing is just another chance for you to pick yeah. me apart and show me how much better you are. Yeah. Well, there you go, Dad. You just kicked my ass. Congratulations. It was great, really. Drugs, Dad. I took drugs for you. No. My son would never take drugs. Oh, Your son. Your son did. It's all about you, isn't it, Dad? Yeah. You know why Mom kicked you out? Because you were a bully. You don't give a damn about anything other than your own ego. You keep your voice down. No! You know what you should do? You should give mom a divorce. You should do her a favor and give mom a divorce. She's never gonna be happy with you, Dad. Nobody is. Oh, uh, yeah. Someone had to say it. Hey. Hey. I said some brutal things last yeah. time. She could take back. Well, obviously, I suck at this. I want to be your friend. You can't be your friend. Yeah. Do I think by your mom? And I know. I don't think parents thing. should be friends with their son and kids. I mean, they, you well, have to be the parent. You at know. At certain point, it's up to you. That's what mom always says. She's like, I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. I'll always be there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your help. Oh, just grab my apron. Kidding. <laughs> Say wherever you want, order whatever you want on the house. Black hair. So, this is the place. This is it. Very buzzworthy. Cool clientele, too. I 
just want to say you're doing a great job. My mom will be happy. About the other night. Yeah, yeah I know you think I overstep my bounds. No, it's just that if you have a problem with me, you just talk to me about it first. Oh uh, my god, Lucas, I think it's like the most awkward thing ever. Actually, I was just sleeping. Oh, yeah. I'll see you too. What's going on? Are you mad at me? It's not me, bro. This trick is so fucking clueless. I thought I was cool with this, but I'm not. I'm sorry. It's me and Lucas? Bro, me and Lucas? God! Like, you're real. You're my best friend. Okay? He gets that. You're right. It's it's the whole third real thing, I guess. No, it's like, uh, it's like I get what she's. I know what she's trying to say, and it's like kind of fucked up that she doesn't get it. But like I said, though, it's kind of hard for me to judge Brooke because I think Brooke was. I think she said in the beginning of the series that she kind of had a thing for Lucas. So I mean, I don't know. Um. So normally. I don't sing for my daughter, but um, something that a friend said convinced me that uh, I should open up to a wider audience. It seemed like the right time and place. This is my daughter, Jenny. And Jenny, this is my whole world. <laughs> Jake has a baby? I was actually one of my, I was like one of my worst nightmares as a teenager. Like I don't want to knock up some girl. Uh, what are you doing here? How do you help? Oh, no, no. Glad you're back. Every time I'm with him, I just get caught in this rig today. You know? The harder I try to get out, the harder it is for me to keep drowning. I thought you weren't coming back till tomorrow. What happened? We were keeping school, Mom. What do you think happened? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I should have known. Oh, whatever. I'm used to it. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Sorry. Is it still cool? Sure. Yeah. Listen, man. Some of the guys and I are going to go down around the river court. I don't know if you're going to take to come. Remember? So they're getting together. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gavin DeGroff. Nathan and yeah, see, so I have a fun as a coach to hold here. Yeah, I'm gonna see this coach. Come a long way since the next time I sat here. You have a problem, Dan. You're competitive and controlling, and you need some help. Mm -hmm. Since when did you become mother of the year? Last I knew, you were out of sight half the month, and I don't mind the rest. I have a lot of catching up to do with Nathan, but at least I'm trying to help. You, on the other hand... What about me? You're a dick! I want you to see someone. Oh, therapy? A therapist. Yeah. We'll go as a family. Forget it. It's not a negotiation, Dan. You get some help, or you're not going to see Nathan. You really think you're going to stop me from seeing my own son? I... Sh me. I mean, I think that exactly would work, but I just think, at this point, it's the son doesn't want to see you. Oh, wow. Like, I don't think Nathan wants to fucking see Dan. I mean, shit. You're... He literally ran away from you, okay? So, I mean... I mean... Clearly, you're the fucking problem. Anyway, I thought this episode was really good, especially towards the end. I'm sorry I had to probably cut out most of the ending because of the song, but it was a really good one. Um, the intro guy... Uh, uh, the intro guy. The theme song guy, whatever. Um... I don't know if I cut this out, but yeah, I, I was wondering why they had that scene kind of playing on to that guy in the store when uh, Peyton was talking to him. I was like, he must be somewhat famous. But I don't know who he is, but um, clearly he's the the guy who sings the opening. Um, yeah, I think this episode, um, I have some problems with Brooke, Peyton, and Lucas' love triangle. 
And again, uh, I'm not a huge fan of love triangles, but I understand why they're there because, you know, it adds drama. Are you team Peyton or are you team Brooke? You know, um, I kind of feel like I put girls against each other and I don't really think that's... And I'm not trying to be like a fucking feminist. I'm not trying to be like a feminist and like, oh my god, you know. No, I'm just saying that even when I was younger, I always thought that. It's like, why are you guys doing that, you know? You know? I think the only love triangle I actually loved watching on TV is um, The Office, uh, Ryan, Kelly, and Daryl. That's the best love triangle because Daryl didn't even give a fuck he was in the love triangle. <laughs> anyway, that's a different show. But anyway, um... I think it's kind of, it's, I'm going to try to explain this a bit because it's kind of oh, weird. So, um, I think technically, if I had to say who has right, I shouldn't say rights, but who should have the okay for Lucas is Brooke. Even though I don't think she has, like, good chemistry with Lucas. The only reason why I say Brooke is because throughout the series so far in the first, what, six? 10 episodes that we've seen, she's shown interest in Lucas from episode 1 or episode 2. or Whenever he started the basketball team, she showed interest in Lucas. Whereas Peyton was already in a relationship. You know, uh, Peyton was with Nathan. So as Brooke, I kind of feel like she, as a friend, she could she, she she put out feelings saying, I have a thing for Lucas and I think I'm going to go after him. And um, so yeah. Peyton and Lucas little thing kind of happened on the side and uh, again that's why I think it's kind of weird because Peyton told Brooke everything that happened with the makeout and all that type of stuff and she I mean I kind of feel like Brooke is not that stupid she knows that there's she has some feelings for Lucas and Lucas clearly has some feelings for Peyton so I feel like she shouldn't like be like shocked like why Peyton has this reaction. Clearly she has a thing for Lucas. It's just both of you guys have the same crush on the same guy, you know? And I feel like Lucas I I think Lucas is dumb here because he he really had to sleep with it. He he, he made his bed he has to sleep with it. I feel like at this point you have to stick with Brooke. Only because you can't go with the best friend because then, she, like, that's her best friend, you know? I mean, I guess if Peyton doesn't want to see her no more, but, um, I don't know, I feel like that, I don't know. It's just drama, oh, see, this is got my head like this, you know? Anyway, um, I'm going to leave the triangle stuff later on, it just, it's just, uh, started start her my head. Um, what else? Nathan, again... Nathan, I cannot believe I'm saying this, is slowly becoming one of my favorite characters. Because, um, first off, it's like, he's not, they may not making him a dick, and he's, they're dealing with his, like, his relationship with his dad, and he is kind of, like, stepping up for himself a little bit, you know? Like, he told his dad how he felt, like, you're always picking on me, you're picking on mom, um, I, he, like, we're having a whole day without baseball, and you're making it a fucking competition, you know? Um... I can see how making a competition could be fun a little bit, but I kind of feel like you need to know where your place is, you know, like, um, for example, my stepdad, he was pretty cool, you know, when it came to stuff like that, but I think, like, he was never competitive, you know, but he always had us have fun with sports. I, that's one thing I would say about my stepdad. He was a little crazy, but I love playing sports with him because he never belittled me in sports. He never, like, um said oh you know he taught me stuff you know like basketball and all that type of stuff wrestling football I, even though i quit football um like track everything he was very supportive that's one thing i will say about my stepdad is he was very supportive of me and um i think that's what nathan wants you know like i think nathan needs that i get what he wants like i it's kind of hard to explain but it's like you want someone to push you but not like like bully you saying you're fucking stupid and stuff like that you know and I, I i understand that as a kid that could be kind of hard you know to want i don't know maybe i'm gonna sound like an idiot but i understand what nathan wants from his dad um because i again that's what my step did for me he showed up to all the games he was very encouraging he um he told me tips he used to show me like what he'll do too was one thing i think nathan should he'll show me video videos and 
he used to take me to the library to get books on certain like um, sports I was in, like track and um, basketball. He'll have me watch a lot of basketball games with him. Um, but like I said, though, like he knew where to stop. You know, he knew when to like have fun. You know, and I don't think Dan knows. I think Dan is not about fun. He's more about like um, get the business. You know, so um, I understand what he wants there. Uh, and drawing back to Lucas, the whole like, I mean, I get the whole, I think this, I don't know, I feel like this episode was a small PTA, or PTA meeting, or not PTA meeting, but like a little meeting, or not meeting, but you know, those little things like announcement saying like, warning of like, teen sex, you know, it could lead to pregnancy, you know, um, they showed the baby and Jake and everything like that, so it's just, I do feel like Peyton is a bad influence on Lucas because, like, the whole thing was awkward with the whole cat condom th thing. Run over, like, hey, I got condoms and I got whipped cream. Like, that shows how fucking immature you are, you know? Um, I don't know. Maybe she's, like, cool with her sexuality and shit like that, but I don't know. Just, I, maybe she's into PTA. I don't know. I think that's a little too weird. I just know for a fact I would not want to be with a, a girl like Peyton. Because and uh, a girl like Brooke, because she just seems like she is just way out there, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought this episode was amazing. I thought it was very good. Um, it kind of felt like a season finale, to be honest. Uh, and I, I think I said this earlier in the episode. I think that I'm curious. I'm gonna be shocked if this is supposed to be the season finale. But then the show is doing so well. Maybe the ratings, and then. The studio asked for more episodes. I wouldn't be shocked because it just it felt that way to me. I don't know. Maybe. Um, again, uh, great episode. I guess we get the 40 action. Feel free to uh, comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. See you guys next week. This is.